These apricot and date oak bars are so simple yet so healthy as a perfect snack. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. If you're looking for a quick and easy yet healthy recipe to prepare that you can have as a snack now and then, keep it in the fridge or in a, in a sealed container. This is perfect. I use it now and then because it's delicious and it's healthy. So join me today as I make my version of apricot and date oat bars. Now we're going to start this recipe off with three ripe bananas. Now the key to using bananas in recipes, make sure they're just starting to get on the dark side because the more darker they get, the more flavor there is that you're going to get out of the bananas. Now obviously you don't want completely dark because they're just off, but just see how they're just dark, darken up like that. That's exactly how you want it. So this is perfect for recipes, smoothies, basically anything that you want to use bananas in and get the most flavor from. Okay, so I've just peeled our bananas. So we're just going to just quickly mash them up into a bowl. And this is going to act, well, not, as, not only as the flavor, but it's also like the glue that holds everything together. So we're going to call it the base of this recipe, but it really does add a lovely punch of flavor. And it just works so well with all the ingredients. Okay, so once that's pretty much mashed up like so, next for a little bit of extra flavor, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, then a quarter cup of dried and chopped up apricots, then a quarter cup of chopped dried dates, a quarter cup of slithered almonds, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and finally three cups of rolled oats. And simply give that a very good mix until everything is well combined. I'll tell you what, it actually smells delicious already. You can already smell the cinnamon and the banana working its way through. Okay, so once mixed, I have a baking tray here lined with baking paper. And just make sure there's a bit of overhang because it just makes it easier to pull everything up. So just simply place your mixture into our baking pan and just spread it out. And as you're spreading it out, make sure you just push it down firmly so it's nice and compacted. Now you don't have to use the same size pan that I'm using. You can use one a little bit smaller if you want it thicker. But you don't want to go too thin, otherwise you just, it's just going to come out very dry. So if you want it thicker, you might have to cook a little bit longer, just a couple of minutes, won't make a difference. Okay, so once that's all nicely packed like so, we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Okay, so I've taken it out of the oven. I've also let it cool down just for a few minutes. So we're just going to just lift it out. And it really is just a simple matter of cutting them up into your desired sizes. And just look at that. And it smells delicious too. And there we have our apricot and date oat bars. Now these really do make a fantastically healthy snack. And do note that I said snack, so make sure you only have them in moderation, of course. You can have too much of a good thing, but as a snack, these are fantastic. Now you can keep them in a sealed container in the fridge and then pack them in your kids' school lunches. And they should last up to a week, but I guarantee they probably won't last that long. You know why? Because they taste simply delish.